Right, Call of the Wild the Angler. We've been playing for which is shy of an hour, about 50 minutes, and I was excited to play the game, mostly in an ironic sense. I thought it was going to be boring. But you know what? Although the last 10, 15 minutes wasn't just us waiting around, that did happen. I actually thought it was right. It was right. Like it was like an open it was open world. I enjoyed the driving. Yes, there's driving in this game. And the fishing bit was it was relaxing. To be honest with you, um, it was a it was a much better game than I thought, and I, I didn't have many, we didn't have a high expectations or anything. But they've taken the majority of the boredom out of fishing. Now, if you knew what you were doing, if you knew much about fishing, I'm sure you, I'm sure you would have a, a great time. It's a really relaxing, beautiful looking game. And so, yeah, I don't actually have too much bad to say about it. I enjoyed my my time with it. It is what it is, and you know, sometimes you don't need to be more than that. It was fun. It was a video game. I thought it was really good. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care, guys. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to A Nomad in Game Land. And today we're playing another free game, and I'm, in I'm incredibly excited. I am incredibly, incredibly excited because we're playing Call of the Wild Angler. Now, my excitement is probably based on a sliver of irony, just because it's a fishing game. I've never been fishing. The whole idea of fishing seems incredibly dull to me, but to each their own. And you know what? My excitement is real. My excitement is real. And I feel like we're going to enjoy this game. Even if it's ironic, I'm sure it's incredibly good. Let's jump right in. Yep. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. We are not going to sign in. Let's play. Uh, okay. Let's go back here and enter. Right. I'm Clayton David Johnson, and I would say this here is my park. But from this day forward, well, that ain't quite true. As far as the eye can see, stream to sky, grove to gully, this ain't mine no longer. It's ours. Ours to explore, ours to cherish, and most importantly, ours to take responsibility for because if we don't uh, not a soul will take your time to drink it in and get used to life here the hot springs or mountain lake are great goals but you call the shots go where you'd like your equipment will take more than a little mastery but if it's easy it ain't worth doing and you'll thank your lucky stars you did in the end it's true that sweet Mother Nature offered up this bountiful providence. But over the years, man has spat on it, ground it underfoot, siphoned off her plenty for ruin. It's been the job of us Johnsons to keep it together since 1872. And trust me, it ain't easy. Hell, I'm not even sure it's possible. But it's well worth it. What we have today is beautiful beyond compare. It's due to the collective efforts of every guest that I can welcome you. Golden Ridge Reserve. Well, wasn't that just majestic? I love it already. I love it already. Oh my god, character select. Oh my god. Wow, the cinematics of this game are over the top and I love it. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Very, 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 very forward thinking. Let's go with a man. Ethnicity. Let's go with 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I'm going to test my eyes. 4, 3, 2, 1. That one. Hats. 
None. Ah, oh, man. All right, here. Half up, half down. Oh. Well, we have to go out there, don't we? Jack C. Beard. What does that even mean? Yes. Hair color. Yes or no? Oh, <laughs> that was a tick box. Yep. Right, we, I, I'm conscious we cannot spend too much time on. Characters are like, I'm just going to do this randomly here. Uh, okay, done. Do you know what? Done. How are, we, how are we looking? How are we looking? We're looking absolutely majestic. Let's roll. Right. What a beautiful game. Sophia Taylor from Taylor's Tackles here, and I hear you're in need of a little fishing refresher. Absolutely. Well, let me tell you, you've come to the right place. Although another right place to go would be Taylor's Tackles, right down at the <laughs> central outpost. Can't miss it. Sorry, what about tacos? Uh, okay, welcome to Golden Ridge Reserve TT, where you'll be presented with some short explanations and instructions. These instructions will cover the controls and how to catch your first few fish. Right. Once you fish is destroyed, we can do uh, a multiplayer. Let's get you in position. Step up to the pier, if you please. I see you've brought your own rod. Can't get anywhere if you don't take it out, so you do the honors. Yep, let's take our rod. So, let's start off with a simple cast. Keep those shoulders and hips square for me. Absolutely. Right, hold. First click and move back. Reel it in. Take your time to get used to it. Hold shift to really fast. So hold the... Now we're fishing for real. I'd like to see a nice clean cast. Strike as soon as she bites and reel her in when she's tired. Wait for a fish to approach, nibble, then bite. When the indicator says strike, press right click. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. What am I waiting for here? When the indicator says strike. The indicator is not saying anything. Strike too early? Or when you win? Do I reel her in? What are we doing here? Right, come on, fish. What? What's what? What indicator? Right, so I see a fish is going towards the the bait. Right. Oh, right, there you go. And do we have our fish? I think we got a fish. I think we got <laughs> we got a fish. I am far too excited for this game. Right. We are, of course, going to release the fish. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That was fun. I did press enter. Thank oh, hold it. Jolly good. Right, XP and credits. Catching fish will earn you XP and credits. Credits allow you to buy new equipment apparel from the shop. Apparel, sorry, not apparel. Uh, apparel from the shop. Earn enough XP and you'll level up, unlocking additional equipment. Right. Congratulations. She's a beauty. Thanks. The fish here aren't yours to keep, so even if you love her, you gotta let her go. Wait, what? Why? I don't to eat the fish. Follow the path to the shop. Right, I must. I must. Remember. This guy cannot swim. Can we run? Yeah. Right, can you jump on fire? Yep. Toasty. Toasty. Right, so where are we going? An open world fishing game. I love it. Right, located to new look out to uh, follow the so we're just gonna follow the path to the shop. Right, and the shop is where? 60 meters. This this guy is like going for a hike. Wow, what a stunning place. This right here is my pride and joy. The Central Reserve Outpost. This ain't just any outpost. You'll find all the bells and whistles here, like 
Taylor's Tackles, a brand new shop run by my friend Sophia. Other than that, you'll be able to find notice boards, storage lockers, a boathouse, and a garage for easy access to transportation, plus a flagpole for yourself. Why are they pushing these tacos? Is this a is that, is the taco place a real place? Is this just advertising, or is this, or is this just like an in-game shop? In which case, why are they pushing it so much? I don't know. Anyway, nice who to put a fish to a face. Hello. Oh, dear. Can I interest you in a bargain? Uh, okay. Now, you won't get far if you don't put your bait on your rod. So, are you speaking? You you're just opening your eyes. I don't see your lips move. Right. Open. Press Q to open the quick menu. Select the bait category and switch to them. What is? How do I even say that? Minnow. Minnow. What is that? What does that mean? And to the. Okay. Go to the J. All right, bye, Sophia. Uh, okay. An open world fishing game. So we get. Does that mean we could basically go to any one of these? Beautiful. Beautiful lakes. This is actually... Oh, this is a real place. Absolutely stunning. Right, come on. Did this need to be open world? I mean, it helps, doesn't it? It really does help. With immersion and whatnot. And it is a beautiful game. Right, so... 307545 boat. So we are at the jetty. Catch a fish with a minnow. Minnow. Right, so one. And we're gonna... Way! Come on, fishy, 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 fishy! Right, reel her in, reel her in! What did we get this time? Way Beautiful. Beautiful. Right, well done. Swapping your bait slash lure. Lure. I cannot speak today. It's a good strategy to use if you're not getting any bites or want to try catching different species. Changing hooks will affect the size of fish that bite. Small fish will not bite bigger hooks. Right, makes sense. Drag and tension. I am in the J. I need to learn how to swim. Go drag and tension. What was that? What? What did I pick up? I don't know. Anyway, let's head out towards. So how how far in the water can we go? No. Right, as soon as your head gets submerged and you can't walk any further. Got it. Right. Managing drag and line tension is important when catching bigger fish. Too much tension and the line could snap. Too little drag and the fish will start swimming away. Tension is viewed in this by the circle in the bottom right corner of the screen. Right. Okay, so you want to keep the line tense. You can vary your drag by X and Z. X and Z. Ah, uh, it's not doing anything. Oh, there is. So... 100% and... Uh, is this like more tense? Right, 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 hold on. So... All oh, right, so it was too tense. If it's too tense, it can snap. And if it's not tense enough, secure catch space. Way! 
Hey, look at that fish. I hope we're not hurting them. Jolly good, that was fun. Right, so if it's too tense, then you can snap your rod. Well done, a higher drag increases the stopping power of your reel, preventing fish from taking line. This also increases the line tension, which is a double-edged sword. The higher tension will tire the fish faster, but also puts the line at risk of snapping. Sometimes a fish will be too large for the gear and require a stronger tackle. Right. We the warden. Look at that. We're going fishing. Right, let's make this as tense as humanly possible. Easy. That's it. Come on, fishy. Right, we got something. Two things, in fact. One looks like an eel. Come on. What did we get? What did we get? What did we get? What did we get? Well, this one looks like a big one. Was it any different? I don't know. Fish is a fish, right? Right, okay. Where is the warden? Well, how are we supposed to agree him if he's a million miles away? Gosh. Right, come on then. Yeah, I'm loving the game so far. Not even ironically, I think it's just fun so far. I'm not entirely sure they need to be... Oh, there you are, is it Clayton? Well, well I take it you got my message. Welcome no. to the reserve, buckaroo. What the hell? What'd you call me? You better watch your mouth, Warden. The Warden of Golden Ridge Reserve works to protect the environment in the park. He asks visitors to keep an eye on open for invasive plant species, disease tree, uh, see, trees, and malfunctioning equipment, among other things. If you see one of these objects, you can interact with them to let the Warden know. Okay, Warden. I'll look up some Japanese knotwood, alright? I only have an open door policy because people forget to close it. What kind of super force field is this? Right, take a mission from the challenge board. The challenge board holds different types of challenges and other calls to action. There's a challenge board at every output. Oh my god, there's more than one output. As you complete the challenges, you unlock. Okay, fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, fine. Welcome to Taylor Tackles Academy. Thank you. Wow, they're just giving out achievements, aren't they? In this series of missions, you'll be taught the basics of the game. There are four class. Did there's another tutorial. There are four classes, each involving a series of objectives, followed by a challenge. Recommended for beginners, you are able to blah, 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 yeah. Flow, fishing, baits, and hook depth. Way level up! You've joined multiplayer for the first time, but I've told you... So you're telling me there's other real... Real people here. Pearl Bali? Who are they fishing? What kind of hot dog? Oh, right, it's a cut hot dog. Enjoy the rest of the day, buckaroo. Stop calling me that! Goddamn buckaroo. All right, where are we going? Go to the marked location. Right, so... Is it like a map? Oh my god! This place is humongous! And how many places can you go fishing? And this is just one location. What an age we live in. Right, okay. Float fishing uses a float. A hook and some bait. Alright, when you say a float, what are we talking about here? Once the bait is in the water, the float remains on the surface and acts as an indicator if a fish is nibbling or biting. If nothing bites after a few minutes, you can try reeling in and casting in a different location. I'm fine, okay. Right, so open the quick menu. And we're gonna switch to blood worm. Ugh. Right, okay. Eggs! What kind of weird eggs are those? 
Right, uh, okay, Bloodworm. Right, okay, let's get our rod out. And away we go. Right, so. So what are we waiting for here? So it does look like some sort of total focus. Oh! Right, nothing is biting. At least I don't think anything's biting. Now, let's just stare intently at this. Okay. I can't tell if that's a fish there. Or not. Something seems to be moving around the bait. Also, let's like slacken this out a bit. I don't know what what's good for fishing. And yeah, I don't know what's happening there. Where are the fishes? Cast too slow, right? How fast do I actually do it? That's a good throw, 10 meters. Right, where are the fishes, man? Where are the fishes? Do you see any fishes around here? Catch a fish using a bloodworm. Right. Hey, 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 look at that, look at that. A fish. Come on. Come on, fishy. Come on, fishy. Or are you just standing there? Actually, eat the bait. Right, we've got this increase some tension here. Oh, we're actually in decreasing the tension. Line slapped! Oh man. And there I was, messing around with line tension too, like I was a pro. Wow, that took a while last time. Let's see how long it will take. Oh, there's a fish is coming. Fish is coming. Yeah, I'm fishy, fishy, fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Come on. It's like Pokemon. Alright, easy. Easy. Way. Yellow perch. Nice. I feel like I was actually a little bit smaller than what we did earlier. Right, hook depth is a measure of the distance between the flow and the hook. It can be changed before casting by using... Uh, was that scrolling? A lower hook depth allows bait to reach slightly deeper areas of, in the water. Luring out fish that were swimming deep... Okay, cool. Oh, I see. That's the flow and that's the bait. I see. Let's go super, super deep, man. Right. Cast Mr. Water? What do you mean? What's the cast? Right. Let's get that intense focus. Anything? Oh! I didn't even see a fish! Well, would you look at that! A black crappie! That was neither crappie and it's not black. So... There you go. Right, is that the biggest one we got so far? That was good! That completely took me by surprise. Well done, you've learned about flow fishing, baits and hook depth. The next class covers hook sizes and building your own rig. Oh! Right, we done here? 
That was, I have to admit, rather fun. Catch five fish. I got them. The problem is with these deep ones, you can't actually see what's happening. Like you just see strike and then it's just like, oh, let's start reeling in then. But we don't necessarily need to be fishing here, do we, either? Oh, there you go, there's a fish coming. There's a fish coming. Come on. Come on, I saw the nibble. I guess the coin dropping sound also means that the... The fish is around. Reel her in. There we go. That's even bigger, isn't it? Oh, that's quite big. A green sunfish, nice! Oh, look at that poor thing. The skills are moving to everything. Why are you... What, what are you looking at? The fish? Anyway. Should we try... Do we need to fish on the jetty? We're here to fish, not be fish! Yeah, thanks for that. Right, so if I go like, for example, here. If I go into that rock. Right, not going to that rock. Let's go into this rock. Right? And now... I go 1.4 meters. And now we wait for that all elusive swordfish. Right, so I think I can see a fish there. Is that a fish? Kind of hard to tell. Can fishy fishy? No, that's seaweed. All right, are we going to get any fish here? I mean, last time it took us by surprise, so maybe we will, maybe we won't. I don't hear anything. Anything on the focus? No. I reel her in. Let's go back to the J. Maybe we can get something really hidden. Oh, where's the deep water? Wait, hold on. Let's go, I'll run out. We're gonna go for the... The deepest one humanly possible. And now we wait. I heard something moving. Or is that just the waves? Tensor up. That one there was, oh. That's a very small gra black crappy. That was, um... There was no warning there whatsoever. Let's go a little bit less deep. And see what we can do. So let's focus in here. Yeah, that, that came without any warning. And now we wait. Right, so a lot of this game is just waiting around. Is there a fish? I don't know. Yes, no, maybe. Yeah, that's a fish. A fish is near. So let's let's uh, loosen up our line. I don't know what fish is, but we're gonna rack up the tension. Okay, not bad. We're just getting the same fishes here. Maybe we should go to a different spot. So, where was that other one? 
So if we go like over here somewhere. Wasn't there one here? Let's go to that jetty over there. I mean, I'm calling all of them jetties. I don't know if they all are. Yeah, let's go here. So, we've been using the blood worm the whole time. And this. Let's go for a deep one again. Yeah, we've been using uh, the float and. What's it called? Floating something? Oh, I can see the fish. Come on. That's it. That's it, fishy, fishy, fishy. It's around. I don't know why it's not biting. There you go. Come on. No problem. But I think it's a tiny one, yeah. Alright, so obviously we know how to fish now. Maybe we should just try switching up the bait. So let's say if we go for something like... I don't know, hot dog. And let's go deep again. I wonder if the hot dog's gonna attract a different type of fish. Hopefully a bigger fish. I don't see anything yet. Oh, here we go. Let's get ready. Oh, let's uh, loosen up our line a bit. Uh, I think it's small because uh, the line is not struggling. Yeah. Oh, that's a different one. No, we get a perch. Got it. Right, are we done yet, man? We finished the challenge, right? Right, I got to the challenge board. Come on. So, while the fishing is fun, I mean, the challenge wasn't particularly engaging. It was, it was, all, it was just the same stuff. And I don't know why. We need to get the learn about the depth because it doesn't seem to affect the type of fish. I mean, we got the smallest fish to the deepest one. All right, guys, are you that lonely? Both of you talk to me at the same time. Just talk to each other. Gosh, buckaroo. Right, we got a cigar, a tyro, a maiden, and a floral carbon. All right, let's go to the Taylor's Tackle Beginner Class Two. This class discusses the relevance of gear strength and hook size. After building a rig with some new gear, you will head to another location. Okay. Stronger gear allows you to reel in larger or stronger fish. A strong line with hands more te with stands, more tension but requires a stronger rod and a reel to be compatible and effective. Right, rod menu is where you can assemble your own tackle, which means what? Open your menu by pressing I and navigate to rods. Okay. Right. Oh, we actually got a rod. I see. Okay, fine. So rods. This is the rod builder where you can set up your own tackle. What do you mean? What does that mean? What was a tackle? Select an equipment slot. Choose the float fishing rig style and use the equipment given for this class to build a new rig. Okay. All right, so two. Lure, float fishing. Lure spinning rig. Jig. That looks painful. Bottom fishing. Let's go for So we said float fishing. Right. A green horn. And let's use the maiden. Tyro. Oh, yeah, this is all the things they gave us, right? Fluorocarbon. A cigar. I s oh, okay. That makes more sense now. Books. Let's go for... Yeah, they're just giving out achievements. Let's go for the blood ones since we've got so many of them. Mastery 2% hook. Max.
Uh, let's go for Blood Worm again. Okay. Are we done? Go to the mark. One and a half kilometers! Mate, is there a car? I mean, there's a car icon. You want me to walk that far? Look at that! That's the other side of the bloody lake! And how on earth are we gonna... There must be a way we can like rent a boat, or a boat or something. Right, so there's a boat. There was a car valley and... Let's get a car. I'm assuming we can get the car. Right, it's so a car valet should be around here somewhere. That was quick. Wow, this the service here is exceptional. Right, American, we go. Uh, okay. I know how to drive. Can we change the uh Camera B. Riding down the highway. Right, I wonder how much damage we can do in this car. Right, what'd you call me, Buckaroo? Nice to see you there, Buckaroo. Son of a monkey. Right, okay. Got down, Buckaroo. Let's go. There's still more to buy. Shut up! Gosh, them and their tacos. Right, so where are we going? One and a half kilometers that way. Wow, oh, this car has got handling, man. This car has got handling. Right, any other? Let's go, buckaroo. Wouldn't you love to drive with this guy? And so we are... Did we just take the long way around? I feel like we did, didn't we? And would it be quicker to turn back? Nah, in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's roll. Getting out of the car is as easy as pressing E. I pressed E. There was something to report, but I feel like people should be reporting me. My footbridge, no problem. This guy is crazy. Right, so we are going this way, right? I wonder, will it charge me for this car ballet? Entirely sure. This is fun. This is fun. It's a fishing game and a driving game. And who knows, maybe even like a boating game. Sailing. I don't know what kind of boat they give you. But if, I mean, if this is a fishing game, what's with all the land? Uh, what is it to do here except for drive? That's what I'm saying. Why build why build so much land if this is just for fishing? I mean there's no water, right? To, except for there. There is literally no water here. Fine, I think the tree is basically I think that is a wall. I mean there's no way we're driving up that. I think we might test our own point. Hey, good enough. Right, so we're halfway there. Jesus, the handling of this thing, man. Right, so we are getting there. Do we drive faster if we're on the road?
Right, so we loaded this game. Clayton gave this whole spiel about how everyone's ruining the park. But he didn't meet this buckaroo. Here we are. Oh, I've got ya. In one piece. I like how they didn't explain to us about this valet business. Right. Hook sizes range from 10 smallest and increase in size as the number lowers. 987. Ah, yeah, that, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, why would you start with the smallest as the highest number? After size 1, the hooks continue to increase in size, but the naming convention changes, going from 102. What? For example, a size 4 hook is larger than a size 8 hook, and a size 3 zero hook is larger than a 1 zero hook. Who came up with this system? My god. As a rule of thumb, small fish can only be caught with small hooks. However, you might want a case to try a big fish with a small hook. Okay. Right, okay, so we are here. Catch. Fish with a size 10 hook and a... Alright, this is the beginner class, right? I am meant to be here, right? Is this... N okay. Alright, so let's... um. Let's try fishing. Focus. Not on your hand. Move your hand. Right. Anything on the way? I can hear stuff, but I can't see anything. Come, fishy, fishy. Nothing? I feel like a fish is getting closer. Just on the noises. But I don't really see anything. Now let's try it again. Also, let's like... Oh, wait, do we have a... Let's use a different rod. Oh, no wonder. Maybe that's what it is. Now that we got our new rod, maybe now we can get some fishes. Anything? It's awfully quiet right now. Come, fishy, fishy, fishy. Mm. Nothing seems to be coming. Right, I mean, how long do I have to wait here? So I hear things on my right. Is it? Maybe we should go like... Hold on, let's make sure we... First of all, let's make sure we trigger the... The actual class. Because it says 55 meters here, but it hasn't actually done anything yet. Alright, we are here. I don't see any fishes. I'll move your hand out of the way. Right, so I did hear something this time. I don't know.
We are using a size 10 hook, right? So this one, rods, yeah, confirm. I think we are, right? God, look at this ugly hand. Is that even a hand? Right. As fun as this is. There are no fishes. Where are all the fishes? Right, nothing. I don't know what's going on here. Right. Let's give it one last try. Any fishes for me? My god, this guy's hand is bright. Oh, there's a big fish there. There is a big fish there. There is a fish. I just don't know if he saw it. Right, fish, come on, I can get I can I can see you. Just bite the bait. Right, so how this is a floating one, right? So how um deep it's got a little bit deeper. Move your hand. Right, the fish is there. Come on, you see it though, don't you, fishy? You see it, fishy, don't you? Come on. Come, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come on. That's it. Oh, he's not interested at all. He's not interested at all. He's actually swimming backwards away from it. Hmm. Come on. There you go. Come on. Get the bait. And maybe we just need to be a bit more... A bit deeper, maybe? How about now? I mean, the fish is there. Maybe the lure is wrong. Maybe the lure is wrong. So let's say we use, I don't know. A minute, this one.
Come on, fish. Bite the thing. Fish, look, it's there. It's there for the taking. Oh my god. Eat the damn fish! Yes, no, maybe, I don't know. Man, this fish is not interested. Whatever. Oh, right, I think that's probably it. I am going to come out to the menu. Ah, oh, it's such a shame to end on that. Let's go to the main menu actually while I think about the game. Right, call of the world the angler. We've been paying for just shy of an hour, about 50 minutes, and I was excited.